it's Jack here, back with another highly anticipated effect tutorial. This is what you guys wanted. Then make sure you like and subscribe and stay till the end. Anyways, without further ado, enjoy the video. Alright guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this little intro of my brother's voice. If you guys would love more intros, then make sure to hit that like button. Go subscribe to my brother for more awesome intros. And uh, let's get into the video. What we are going to be using for this motion blur effect is Chaos 1, Sideways 1, Up and Down 1, and Extreme. Alright, so what you're going to do, uh, you're going to mark... Uh, where you want your motion blur for so for me i want it when uh when i edit when i turn around like i do a big movement like this one over here so clearly that's it so i have it all marked out you don't have to mark i just marked it out for you guys uh so you guys can see what i'm doing and uh yeah let's just get into the first one so as you guys see i edit sideways so we could either use the chaos one or the sideways, but I'm just gonna go in order and show you uh, each one. So let's just uh, use the chaos one. So for the settings, what we want, well, first of all, we gotta trim this. Okay, and have it like right over here. Okay. As you guys see, this does not look good whatsoever. What is this mess? All right, we're gonna remove RGB. That's the first thing. Uh, lower down the Z or the Z uh, for the Y we could also lower this one and for the X maybe just a tiny bit see how like the further I have it, it goes out like really wide and stuff that's not what motion blur is what motion blur is is having it like just a tiny bit just like that okay and then for the frequency you want to have it like right above or below the x uh, position so for me i'm just gonna have it like this so we'll just see now uh, you guys see that's a little bit too much in my opinion so i'm gonna keep lower this down that's right, it's like about right. I'm just gonna lower the X now. And that looks like right about correct. All right, so we're gonna open this again. Remove RGB. Uh, we're gonna lower this all the way down and the frequency. Now let's see what it looks like. It looks right about correct. Right about right actually. <laughs> Excuse my English grammar. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good. Maybe just lower the X a little bit down. And the frequency just a tiny bit. Alright. Now let's use the, the the up and down we're gonna save for later. We could use the extreme now. Or this all the way down. And just make it a tiny bit small. Dude, that is so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now uh, for this one, look at that, we go from down to up, or basically up and down I guess, we're gonna have this right over here, shrink it all the way down, remove RGB, lower this down, and let's play it. Whoa. 
Okay, so for this one, again, we're going to just copy this. Paste that right over here. And maybe just lower it a little bit on because it's too much. Bam, just like that. Uh, for this one, we're going to use Chaos. Or we could use Extreme Axie. But for, I'm just going to use Chaos. Or this hold on. Bam. Okay, so the reason why I don't want like a whole thing across is because it's kind of random. Like it shakes like randomly, so uh, that's why we want to have separated and not over the whole clip. So I'm have it like this. Maybe lower it a little bit down. Okay, have this right over here. And we want to use also extreme. Like maybe right over here. Now for extreme, it doesn't really do as much, but it does a little bit. So if you don't want too much, we can use it always. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it. And just one more thing, if you guys wanna add mild over the whole uh, clip, and maybe just change the settings like what I have, maybe like obviously you don't you don't wanna have like exact like mine, because it might look different. Uh, you can, but like as you guys could see, for example, it just shakes the whole video, and it's not really good. But it kind of works as well, as long as the settings are a little bit lower, just like that. But just if you guys want to use mild, personally, I, uh, it's, it's not really that good to use mild, but you guys can. Alright guys, so yeah. Alright, so that's basically it. So basically what we used... To recap, Chaos 1, Sideways 1, Up and Down 1, and Extreme if you guys like. Extreme, it's not really that extreme I would say. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it for the video. So just a quick summary of the settings. You want to have, I'm just going to use Extreme as an example. Actually no, I won't. I'm going to use this. You want to, whatever you want, you're going to, never mind, not this one. Let's just use this. Alright, that is a good example. So, for example, you want your frequency to be below the actual thing that you want. So, for example, if you want it to move sideways, which is X, uh, then have it lower. Or if you want it below the Y, you can. But for this one, I do a circle uh, move, uh, edit, I should say. So, that's why it's like that. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys like, subscribe.